Oh man, I got a zero turn ZT10. It's a little dirty there. It's dirty. But the guy's been using it outdoors, which I don't, it, it can go outside. I don't really sell it as like, like if you're going to be buying something primarily for outside, I'm not going to tell you to buy the zero turn. Now, if you live at a nice resort or, you know, one of those big retirement centers and you need a full size scooter, hold up 400 pounds with the zero turn technology because you're scared of a three wheel, then yeah, this is the, this is the ticket. But the reason why I don't like to sell it as a primary outdoor unit, especially if you're going to ride it really rugged, I can tell as this guy's been riding it primarily as outdoor scooter, is because in order for this scooter to work, now if you have this scooter, you know there's two motors back there that allows it to turn really sharp compared to most four-wheel scooters. But in order for this to know to engage these motors back here, there's a magnet down there. And if you run into something or... It could happen, I don't know, or if something fails, it's not going to know what's going on. So this, this is the issue right here. This needs to be replaced. If your scooter is riding at one speed like it's in the slow speed because it thinks it's turning left or right, it's just going kind of like this, one speed. You come in here, you change it from Eco to EV, it doesn't change the speed. You change it from EV to SPT, the fast speed, it still drives the same speed. More than likely, you have two things wrong. You have this has gone bad or your magnet has broke. So let me show you where that's at. And this can be something you can fix or your grandson or someone can. Obviously this scooter is kind of heavy. You're going to want to take this seat off. Remove these batteries. Because I got to get up underneath there. And I've already done the repair. So I'm not going to sit you through all this. And I'm going to pick this front end up. I'm going to try to walk it back on those anti tippers and lean it up. This is really important because I would imagine if you had this scooter. This is going to happen to you or it has happened to you. You take it into a local dealer. They might not be able to figure out what's wrong with it. They're going to charge you a ton of money unless it's under warranty. This, you see this thing right here where you turn, when, when you turn this wheel, you see that, that like white, that magnet follows that line. Now, if that magnet right there is broken, this is your issue. It's this little magnet which they have like a Loctite on it, so it might be a little difficult to get out, so you might want to heat it up maybe, I don't know. But that magnet's fine. But this board was bad. So this board wasn't registering. It was thinking it was always in the a turn, so that's why it was going one speed. So there's three of these connections. You have a main one, and you have one for the left motor, and you have one for the right motor, okay? This is what it looks like. It looks like this. Okay, so what I would suggest is to get your hands up underneath here with this screwed in. This needs to stay screwed in and go ahead and you're going to, you're going to pinch it, right? Because it's plug and play. See that? Mm -hmm. So get your hands in there to get your finger on that and, and then unplug it and try to pull this out. Don't pull the wires now. Just try to get it out. Once you get that off, then come in and unscrew these, unscrew this housing. And when you put it back in there, you can, you know, plug everything in and then kind of slide in there. It goes kind of easy. It's going to take 30 minutes maybe um, for someone. Um, probably a, took me probably to change it five minutes. Um, but this is what was bad. But when you... If this is happening to you if, you, if you can tilt this up or somehow get underneath here to look at that magnet, make sure that magnet's not bent or broken. Make sure it's staying on this line. It stays on this line. If it's off this line, it's probably not going to work properly. You have another issue. You might have a, this might be bent. I don't know. But this was the issue. If 
five, 10 minute fix, maybe 30 minutes to an hour for whoever's doing it. Give it a shot. Shouldn't be that expensive for this part. I'm not sure exactly what this part is, the cost of it. Uh, if you have any questions, give us a call at 803-926-2224. Thank you so much.